Hello everyone, Alternating Bit here. Today I'm going to do a comparison test between the CoreSynth OTA Low Pass Filter, the C101, and the infamous MOTM440 Discrete OTA Low Pass Filter. They have a similar chipset, not entirely the same. Of course the MOTM has an extra input, more of a ladder filter type setup. However, they do have a similar sound in general and I'll let you guys see what you think. So we're going to start right now with the CoreSynth C101 and we're putting a saw wave into the input. No other inputs, just going to go through the frequency sweep. And now for the MOTM. to the core synth. Now we're going to add, we're going to put about 50% 50, 50 resonance in. You might get a little bit of a chirping, but. So 50 doesn't do it on this filter. It, it does on the MOTM. Much more sensitive. Put the resonance at 50 and Let's give the uh, course synth a little bit more resonance. We're going to bring up to 8. Nope. And punch it to about 8.5. And then we're going to go back to the MOTM. A dollar resonance down to about. 4.5 much sharper much more chirpy and unhinged back to the core synth we're going to punch it even more the resonance on the core synth we're at 9 now Slightly painful to the ears, but interesting to see what it does on the scope. All the way to 10. Okay, bring it back down to about 8. So that's that's the resonance on the core synth with a saw wave. Back to the MOTM. All the way up to 10. to seven. All right, let's try a different wave form. My favorite, the triangle. Start with the core synth triangle. Resonance leaving it at eight still. Bring the volume level up. Okay, bringing up the resonance now to nine. Okay, let's go to the MOTM. Again, that resonance, very sensitive. We're at four now, about four, a little bit four, a little bit more than four. Bring up to six. It's a screamer. Reminds me of the Polyvox filter. All right, let's do pulse on the core synth. Just the pulse with 
width on the dot com filter. Let's put it at like Okay, so now we're going to use a sine wave and we're going to add a, an extra wave um, into the frequency modulation one input, just a direct output of a saw wave from another dot com oscillator. So here's the core synth and this is a sine wave coming in, difficult to hear if you're using an iPhone or something without any bass, but and now I'm going to increase the frequency modulation input of the saw wave. down to about level 6, level 8. Now we're going to bring up resonance. Definitely gets pretty harsh. I'm adjusting the frequency knob on the porcelain. Let's listen to the MOTM. Very sensitive. I got the resonance on four. Adjusting the frequency modulation now. Input. Again, it's very sensitive. Interesting to note that the frequency modulation input one has negative, uh, goes up to positive five, then negative one. So if I go into FM2, So for a slight musicality test, I'm now going to run a Volper octave sequence that goes into the oscillator. That will be a ramp and triangle combo wave going into the core synth OTA low pass. I'm also going to add a frequency modulated gated envelope. Also have this running through a little bit of delay and reverb just again for texture and musicality. The, uh, the gate into it. Nice warm sound.
negative. Nice feature that you don't get on the course synth. Okay, here's a quick A-B test on the fly, so you can see really quick juxtaposed one filter with the other. I'm running a sequence through each one, and they're all receiving the same amount of inputs copied into inputs 1 and 2, frequency modulation 1 and 2. The MOT amp's not using the third input, so it can at least it'll be a fair test. So, on our dial we have number 2 is going to be the core synth C101, and number one is going to be the MOTM 440. Is it a fair test? Is it like comparing a Toyota to a BMW? Well, that's for you to decide. Obviously, the MOTM 440 costs a lot more than the Corsa C101, but the C101 does have a great sound to it in itself. So if you're on a budget and you want to have that early Roland or Profit type sound, you can still enjoy the Corsa C101. If you want to have a very robust filter with more inputs, more possibilities, a greater range, then definitely go with the MOTM 440. This is Alternating Bit. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.